Hi, friends. I want to thank you once again for taking the time to watch my video and listen to what it is that I would like to share with you tonight. Uh, those of you who have watched my previous video, uh, thank you for, for watching and for commenting. And uh, again, just thank you for the time that you have set aside to, to listen to, to what I want to say tonight. Uh, before I talk about uh, what I had hoped to share with you, I do want to address uh, the fact that my hair looks a little different tonight. Uh, my hair is a little more compressed uh, because uh, I cut it earlier. I am my own barber. Uh, and after I cut my hair, I washed it and uh, I use wind products. So I thought I'd show y'all uh, what I do use uh, this is W-E-N, not to be confused with W-I-N, uh, which is, of course, the, 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 the type of win that Christ will give us in a victorious life. But uh, this is W-E-N, and uh, the, the reason why I like win is because it has uh, natural products in it. It's a product that is natural. Uh, and it's funny, a lot of people have been watching the Coming to America sequel uh, over the last couple of days, and I remember in that movie, Hakeem uh, was questioned by one of the barbers. They wanted to know what kind of chemicals he had put in his hair, and he replied that uh, he hadn't put any chemicals in his hair, just uh, juices and berries. Uh, and of course, I didn't want anyone to get the, the wrong impression because, like I said, uh, my, my hair is. Uh, a little more compressed in it than it was in the last video. Uh, I haven't received any sort of permanent or relax or anything like that. Uh, it's just that I cut my hair, trimmed it, and then used the uh, the wind shampoo. And uh, in this, there are there are, I believe it is cherries and watermelons that are in here, and it, it has a nice aroma. But uh, and I don't want to uh, necessarily endorse this product for everyone. I did see on the internet that there were some ladies who had some issues using the product, uh, and that's unfortunate. I hope that they uh, find a way to uh, find restitution for those individuals. But, but uh, just, again, didn't want any kind of confusion uh, for why my hair looks the way it does. I also use the wind uh, mousse after I get out of the shower. Okay, so let me get on to what it is that I wanted to talk to y'all about. Uh, I'm sure that y'all, like I did, had a chance to, uh, if not watch the interview, uh, at least hear something about the interview that Oprah Winfrey gave uh, Meghan Markle and uh, Prince Harry. Uh, and, and I think we all found it disturbing. Uh, because in the interview, Megan uh, remarked about how uh, a question was asked about uh, her child and uh, what uh, color the, the baby skin tone would be. Uh, of course, that was a racist remark that was made by the, well, she called them the firm or the institution, but we know that that comment came from the family. And, you know, I just thought that was messed up, you know, the way that that, that went down. Uh, so, you know, I talked to the Lord and the Lord led me to the, the scriptures uh, and told me to go to the Old Testament. And in the Old Testament, he led me to Numbers. And uh, in the 12th chapter of Numbers, I started to read and I'd like to read that to y'all. Uh, and it starts, although Moses was the most humble person in all the world, uh, Miriam and Aaron started complaining. Uh, Moses had no right to marry that woman from Ethiopia. Uh, that's what Miriam and Aaron said. Who does he think he is? The Lord has spoken to us, not just to him. The Lord heard their complaint and told Moses, Aaron and Miriam to come to the entrance of the sacred tent. There the Lord appeared in a cloud and told Aaron and Miriam to come closer. Then after commanding them to listen carefully, he said, I, the Lord, speak to prophets in visions and dreams, but my servant Moses is the leader of my people. Uh, he sees my face to face. Excuse me. He sees me face to face. And everything I say to him is perfectly clear. You have no right to criticize my servant Moses. 
And, you know, when I read that, that just agreed with what was in my heart so much. And I think it, it resonated with so many other people, though they may not have read that scripture, because uh, no one can find anything bad to say uh, about Prince Harry and the man that he has become and matured into. And because he has found uh, another woman who is just as uh, impressive as a person as he has, it seems that some people have become jealous in the way that Miriam and Aaron have become jealous. Uh, and, and it's just not right. Uh, and of course, it doesn't matter the color of skin uh, of the person that you find and that you find love with. What matters, of course, is what you share uh, with that person in your heart. Uh, I was told uh, a story by my mother who uh, had uh, a biracial uh, background, has a biracial background. My grandfather was a black man and my, my grandmother was of mixed ancestry, uh, Irish and Native American. And uh, they were, were in Virginia at the time when it was against the law for uh, anyone to marry anyone else of another race. And they lived through that. And uh, I just feel that now that we live in a different time, uh, we should not put these sort of requirements on people that they have to marry a, a, a type of person that that everyone else agrees with or are the same race as someone else. These are ideas of the past and and they have nothing to do with where we are today. Uh, if you watch the Ten Commandments and I watch it every year personally, uh, if you look at Moses and of course Moses is played by uh Charlton Heston, and of course Charlton Heston is one of the more outstanding actors in the history of Hollywood. When you look at uh, Charlton Heston in that movie, if you look at Moses, you can see he is very debonair and an attractive man in the eyes of all the women in the movie. And if you think about a modern day uh, 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 Moses or modern day Charlton Heston, though Prince Harry is not in movies. He could be in movies. I think he could be in movies because, you know, he's, he's really cool. Uh, I just can't help but think of him, you know, as the type of person that, that the women look up to and that perhaps some of the men are jealous of. But that don't have nothing to do with who he has found uh, to find love with. And as the saying goes, whom the Lord has brought together, let no man tear asunder. And I just hope that he and Meg and Markle uh, continue the path that they have chosen. And they don't let none of this foolishness uh, stand in the way of what they have started. Uh, so I want to thank y'all for taking time out once again to listen to me tonight. If you like what I'm doing, if you like these videos, if they help you in any way, please like them, share them, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you think someone else might like them, friends or family, please share that with them. And, and I just thank y'all. Y'all have been a blessing to me and while I have tried to be a blessing to you. And uh, I hope that you all have a blessed week. Thank you so much.